YouTubers, it's Sam again, and today I'm going to show you how to update from 5.50 Gen B2 or Gen C to Gen D. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is on the right of this video, the, on the first link in the video description, click that link and it should take you to a page. It should take you to a mega upload page. And it'll say cfwgend.zip. The first thing you're going to do is open the corner. You're going to type in that little, all those little letters in lowercase, not in capitals. It has to be in lowercase for some reason. Then you're going to click download file. Then you're going to have to wait about 45 seconds. I'm going to skip this so we can get straight to the download. Okay, so once the once it's done, all you're going to do is click regular download. And then it's going to take about maybe 5 to 10 minutes to download. It shouldn't take too long though cuz it's a pretty small file. And so once it's done, you're going to want it to end up in your desktop on your desktop or somewhere where you can find it. So, I'm going to drag it to my desktop. And then I'll be providing a second link in the video description for WinRAR, which is an extraction wizard or an extraction tool. And if you have WinRAR, it should show up as a stack of books. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to click right click and then extract here. And wait for it to extract. And then once it extracts, you're going to have uh, these three files. You're going to have the 500.pbp file, you're going to have the docs file, and you're going to have the PSP file. And what you're going to do is now you're going to plug in your PSP. Once it's in USB mode, this little thing should pop up. You're going to scroll down to where it says open folder to view files, and click that one. Then you're going to open up the PSP folder then the game folder, and then you're going to get this PSP folder, and then they get, open up the game folder on that one, and then you're going to get the update thingy, and drag it, and drop it into the PSP game folder on your PSP memory stand. Okay, once you do that, you can exit off this one, and then you're still on your PSP memory stick, just go back to the root, back to the root of the memory stick where it says PSP and ISO and all that other stuff. And then you're going to drag this 5.50.pbp folder and just drag it into the root of your memory stick. And wait for that. Yeah. Okay, so once that's done, uh, this little docs folder right here, that's just a little readme. You could get rid of this if you want. So, just drag it to the recycle bin. Okay, so, now that you have the 500.pbp file in the root of your memory stick, and then the PSP, in the PSP game folder, you're going to have the update thing. And you're just going to exit out. And then get off USB mode by pressing the circle button on your PSP. And you may want to go to my computer <clears throat> and make sure it says removable disk. If it does not say removable disk, then right click it and click eject. And then uh, press circle on your PSP. Okay, so now I'm going to show you the rest of the steps. Okay, so once you're on your PSP and you're off USB mode, go to game and then go to the memory stick and then X. And then you want to start it, so just press X to start it up. And just wait for it. Okay, so then it just tells you everything. Um, yeah, so then you're just going to press X and on Enter. So you're going to press Enter. And then, let's see, you want to do the one at the very top. It says flash install CFW 5.50 Gen D. So do the one at the very top. 
and then press X and then it will say extracting PRX and just wait for it loading Sony updater okay then it's gonna start installing now this part shouldn't take too long I'm gonna skip it anyway though so that way you don't have to wait okay so just stay put. Okay, well it's almost done 97 8 okay and then when it's done it's gonna say it's done it's gonna say like flashing updater files and then when it's done it's gonna say it's gonna say uh, install is complete welcome inside the PSP Gen CFW world a shutdown or a reboot is required. Okay, so you can just either press O to shut down or X to reboot. I'm gonna press X to reboot. So X. It's gonna turn off your PSP and then turn it back on. Okay, so once you're on your PSP home menu, um, I'm gonna go over to system settings and then in system information. Okay, so as you can see, I have 5.50 Gen D full, and, it, and if you did everything right, it should work. So, as you, as some of you may know, there is a later version of Gen D available. It's called 5.50 Gen D2, and I'll shortly be posting a video on how to get from 5.50 Gen D to Gen D2. So, if you want to get Gen D2, just um, look out for my video. I'll be posting it very soon. And as soon as I have the video, I'll put a link in the video description for it. Okay, so hope this works for you. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Please don't post any bad comments in the video, um, even if you don't like the video. And uh, if you do like my video, please feel free to rate, comment, and subscribe. And thanks, YouTubers. Bye.